What's up guys, we're Jungle Beast, we're reviewing another unknown artist who has emailed us and invested in getting a review done. You better believe it, baby. We are reviewing... Anomalous. Who has released a 20 minute short album called Odd Boy. You get it. He's been following us for a while and he wanted to get uh, some critique on mm -hmm. it. And here we are. We're going to be honest. And we might be a bit... Silly. Yeah, if you watch that past uh, Unknown Artists reviews, we, uh, that's, we pride ourselves on just being as honest as possible and as being as real as we can. Even if it may hurt the person anyway, as long as they can find some way of growth from it to improve themselves, and that's what we do. That's what we do it for. So if you want to experience some new music, well, let, let's dive right in with the eyes wide open and vaginas wide open. I have three vaginas, one located on my abdomen, one located on my lower neck, and one located on my spinal cord, but on the inside, so I can touch it with my liver. Ooh. I'm Alexander Ooh. Sandalis. I'm a... I'm the, I'm the flaming testicle. Wow. The flaming testicle? Yeah. Put that on a menu. Could I have the flaming testicles, please? Come in, my top oh, but it's hot! It's hot! <laughs> it's lo-fi. He's gonna be rapping or drinking as a producer? Well, he said hip-hop. In the top hashtag corner. This is nice. Hey, hey. Feels like I'm floating. Like I'm sitting on a cloud, just like looking at motherfucking birds yeah, fly Yeah, I by. see that. I feel that. I like that effect. I don't know what that is. Like a top. The structuring and pacing of this production is is quite quite pleasant, quite quite pretty. It's almost self-reflective in a way, the way that I'm thinking about it, or maybe like thinking towards what it, it's very it's thinking music to me. Like the whole time I felt like I said I was sitting on a cloud, just looking at yeah, shit, just thinking just thinking about whatever the fuck I'm thinking about. Like I'm just, I'm just thinking about a lot of shit. This would be great background, studying music, just zone out. Mm. Fuck with those really sort of like real fucking laid back keys. The guitar's beautiful. It was, it was lovely. It was, it was very lush. I fuck with it. Lush, that's a good word. Uh, and again, just the pacing of it, how you built on it. You, mm. you added incremental changes. You didn't keep it the same. You kept it similar but different as the pacing and track evolved. Let's get this country vibe. No, not country to me. Western? No, well, to you maybe. To me, yeah, I'm just trying to put some words to it. I can't speak for you, but for me, I don't feel like my skill set is, is there yet where I can really review production and instrumentals to a, to a high level. I'm the same. Like, my knowledge isn't as much as the people that do that shit. Yeah, I feel like producers, where? Sound engineers. Like, we're gonna miss a lot of shit. Yeah. Like, this is what we need E for. This is not cohesive to the previous track, right? This, we get a different vibe. Mm, no, there's still guitar. It's still very spacey, in my opinion. Okay. I'd say it would be cohesive. And I, I like the switch up. It went from, to me, feel like floating, to me just like I was walking in a desert. I was looking around me, and there's nothing. But despite there being nothing around me, I feel like a badass. Like, I know, it's like, I, it looks like I'm heading towards nowhere, but I know that I'm heading somewhere. That's what that track made me feel like. That wasn't as engaging or as interesting, that production to me. It, just that repetitive guitar just didn't have me captured. I'm not sure how I would critique it, to be honest, because this is not music I particularly listen to, or I don't particularly hear rappers or musicians sing over this. I'm not sure where I would take it. I really liked it. Oh. 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 It's called Spiral. Feels like, now it feels like you're, you're just falling. Because it's a piano, it can make you feel sometimes, like Inception. Bro. I gotta watch that again. Oh. What is that? Oh. This music is for movies and television and drama. 
This isn't for rappers. I disagree. I can hear rappers on this. Show me. I, 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 bitch, I got a banana dick. I put it in. She squeaked like a mouse. And I was like, that's fucking nice. Let me hit it again. Yum. Yum. See, bro? It's easy. You, you proved me wrong, man. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Remember Ninjabi's Moto Soul? How every track we felt a certain thing or a yeah. certain thing. This is similar to that. Yeah, I feel the. And that was an instrumental album mostly too. It honestly feels like I've been beaten the fuck out of by five dudes and I'm just laying on the ground covered. So, let, let's do it like you're going from the clouds, you're walking, five dudes come up and beat the shit out of you. Keep going. And now I just feel like I'm like gotten up, I'm in pain, my head's hurting, and I'm just sort of wondering like what the fuck just happened. And I'm like, it's I'm, dark. It's like I'm feeling a lot of anger, but I don't know what to do with that anger. I'm trying to figure out how to channel this anger. Do I use it in a way that's violent or do I do I subside it? Or do I find another way? Are you Batman? Or are you Two-Face? Where's Rachel? Where is she? <laughs> that was dope as Yeah, it's my favorite track, man. Dark. That, that had such a yeah, a dark presence and power to it. Mm. Like Put that on a on a you you think you can hear rappers on this? I I'd submit that to like some directors for like movies and like a television shows that have drama like Stranger Things or like a Inception something like that. Yeah yeah, I'm pretty much I've been talking a bit over your music. And I don't want to do it too much. So I'm thinking now at the end of each track, I'm gonna let you know how I was feeling, because as I stated throughout the track, I felt like that I was getting beat the fuck out of by like five dudes. I just felt like I was in a very like angry mind state and I was figuring out what to do with that anger. So. It, I'm just getting feels from your music, and this is exactly how music's made to make you do, made to make you feel, made to make you Whoa. think. Those words went so fast. <laughs> I'm a faster. Faster pasta. Does that shit still exist? Is it, was that a thing? What's that? Know. Like, if you, know, you are right. Sorry. No, no, no. no. Talk, talk. I, I mean, talk. <laughs> I love hearing myself talk. I love being the center of attention. I love motherfucking speaking shit. Bro. And I feel you, I make fucking videos, all I do is talk. <laughs> Fuck me. You probably go back and watch me just like, mm. I don't know. To... <laughs> Give him the long stroke. Oh, I'm giving myself the long stroke. <laughs> I mean, people always think we're on drugs, but we just, we just love life. That's what it is. We just, we don't need drugs and alcohol to love life. It's only, it's not just that. It's just like, there's no, there's no facade. There's no barrier. It's just be. I'm not afraid of who I am. And I'm not afraid of what people think of me. That's powerful. It almost sounds like an XX Tentacion track. I was going to say the same shit, bro. Ooh. That's who you could hear. You can hear an artist like him on this stuff. Yeah, man. Not you can hear him like with his drowned out, like wine sort of vocals on here. It's really nice. Those those vocals. It's subtle. Yeah. But it's... It works. It does. It gives it that extra character it needs. That's a very good way to relevant. say it. That's a dope ending. That's a dope track. How does that make you feel though? Where are we? We're now being beaten up. Where uh, are we going now? I feel like... I was like in like an underground pit where there's people like boxing in a ring, but I'm on the side. Like Fight I'm Club? Just, I'm hitting the punching bag. Oh. I'm angry still. And I'm taking, instead of taking it out on motherfuckers, I'm taking it out in the punching bag and trying to get myself back to like a feeling of more myself and more, more zen. It's like I'm trying to get this anger out in a way that's not going to affect other people. That's how this track made me feel. Okay. I, I, I feel that this track represents more of a sorrow and a sadness to it. Now, bro. More upbeat. How you doing? Okay. Oh, got the chipmunk vocals. What? This one. Oh. Oh. I feel like a city vibe. It's like you're the rock. You're, you're Jason the Rock Johnson sitting in your car with a toothpick out the side, like looking around, just like. I gotta kill these motherfuckers where they at. Like from Fast and Furious type shit? I mean, you I haven't seen it. Uh, but I, I feel you. Uh, uh, uh. You're motherfucking talented to have like 30, 40, 50, 60 views on all these tracks in this album, man. I know how long you released this ago, but. 18 days ago. Okay, that's not long ago. But you deserve, you deserve at least thousands, man. It's obvious you put a lot of effort into these, and the mastering is really beautiful too. It is and crisp. It's, it's crisp. This shit is crisp. Like, listen to it on this. This is some good fucking mastering mixing, man. And also the fact that it's cohesive to me. 
because I'm still feeling shit. Like that track, that track made me feel like I'd exit the boxing ring. I've released my anger and I was feeling, so now I'm just walking down the street and I'm feeling good about myself. Right. Although I've been through some struggles, mm -hmm. I got past that and I'm looking towards the next thing in my life and I'm feeling good about it. It's got this optimistic energy to it. Yeah. Like very optimistic, like no matter what gets me down, like I'm feeling up, that shit ain't gonna bring me down. I wonder if that'll tie into the next track. Oh. Maybe. Chicken will drop. But it's more like, electronic, like an yeah, electronic gong. It's like a normal gong. It's an electronic gong. Yo, Hickey, he have a look at my electronic schlong. Uh... It seems like we're keeping with this upbeat, vibrant, optimistic energy. You'd say that was, you reckon that was upbeat? I'd say it was more in, downbeat. In context with this whole project more upbeat. I don't think that was upbeat. I'm not saying it's upbeat. I'm saying it was more upbeat than the previous first three, four tracks as this okay. positive vibe. I didn't get a positive vibe from it. The gong fucked you up. The gong the made me feel gong. the gong made me feel more hazy. Like my Ooh. like my thoughts were a bit more warped. Like I'd gone from like feeling uh -oh. from angry to more sure of myself to being unsure again. Oh. It honestly felt like I'd gone into like say a ramen shop and I was like getting ramen some, shop. and then basically I was having some good ass ramen, but then you know I was having some um, having some sake, but I was having a bit too much. Uh -oh. I was getting pretty drunk, and and the oh. more drunk I was getting, the more my sort of thoughts were wavering, and I'm sort of like walking home stumbling, like fuck, I didn't want to get drunk. Next minute you're fucking a, yeah, fucking a whale. How are you gonna fuck a whale? And don't say put it in the whale's pussy because it ain't that easy. I, I would never say. Do you know how big whale cocks are? Have you seen the whales when they like? But basically, because when whales fuck other whales, yeah. it's normally two males fucking one female. So one no male. No way. No, no, no. It's one male. Bang? Legit. One male be what fucking the her, fuck? or the other male be on top of the water, but he puts his dick out the water, and his whole dick's just leaning out the water. Like, why would he do that? Because I don't know. That's what they do. Where did you find this information out? On Reddit, and I saw pictures of movies. And I saw a lot of whale dick. Damn. They got big. Well, I'm pretty sure we did a video like a year ago about whale dicks. Not about whale dicks, but we mentioned we whale did, dicks. We did, we did some shit about Justin Bieber's dick. Oh, maybe that was it too. He has a beautiful penis. Fuck, man. Not Justin Bieber's shit. penis is beautiful. Fuck that this man is up. blessed in many ways. Uh, but yeah, this track was really dope. I'm loving everything you're doing. You're very talented. And like I said, this track made me feel like I was questioning myself. Like I'd gone from being really sure to questioning myself once again about a lot of shit. And not having control. Like thinking I have control, but not having control. You feel me? I like trying to bust nuts to music I didn't think I could bust it. Depends to. how sensual you want to get in this bitch, right? I'm a sensual bitch. <laughs> it's elevated music. Yeah, there you go. So you, like, you're sitting there, you're like standing there, you're just like... Do you remember when I used to do elevated jungle beats? Yes. Holy shit. That Fuck, was that was legendary. <laughs> Hell could be better than heaven, we don't know. We it, might not, it might not exist. <laughs> Just in case. Science, bitch. <laughs> oh. Nice. Bruh. That's pretty nice, right? Seven tracks, 20 minutes, all of it was good. Shut up! Shut up! Uh, yeah, the last track, Lay. A really beautiful way to feel. Finish it. Tell us how you felt. I don't give a fuck. I'll tell you what I feel. I'm caring. <laughs> no, I care. Well, how you feel, bro? How you feel, bro? <laughs> My bad. That was so good. I like that. I should just roll with it. You should have just get. The fuck nah, I'm too nice. With these, with these seven tracks, I feel like we're getting a dist the pacing of this of this album. It's very clear. It's not all over the shop. It seems cohesive in, in the manner which with it progresses. So we, we get this moody, kind of darkish vibe from the start. And we cut like coming out of this tunnel almost to the end. We have this elevator music, which is, you know, kind of pretty and a bit colorful. 
and um, overall, this music I don't typically listen to at all. I'm left feeling quite relaxed and like this is be some great background music or movie music or television music or and I, I would like you to hear where we are in our journey right now. All right. So we've, we've, we've had, we've gotten a bit drunk because we thought we had control, but we didn't have control. We've woken up. We got a bit of a hangover and we're back to feeling in a negative mind space. But I realize I'm late to work. I got to get to work. So I've got to work, but I've taken, I'm still feeling a bit out of it. I'm still feeling a bit sour or a bit down. So I've taken some drugs to numb the pain, taken that numb, numb juice. Oh, it's good cool, And so on. basically I'm sitting there in the elevator. I'm in my office working. I'm on lunch break, but I'm constantly by myself and just eyes half shut, hazy, out of it. I'm not really, like I'm feeling kind of high, you know, like I'm feeling high, but it's kind of like it's a fake high. Like, so the whole day's gone by and I'm feeling pretty good about things. I'm, but then at the same time, it's like, I'm just numbing it with like whatever I've taken for the day. That's just how I feel. I feel like I was just going to work. I'm in, I'm, I'm in the elevator. I'm in my workspace. But I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just fucking out of it. Which is weird because that's not how it should feel, but that's just how it made me feel with my story. So went from being in the fucking clouds to being in a fucking office space. Who the fuck knew? And that's the power of Jungle Beats and doing these unknown arts reviews. Yeah. Um, honestly, Nomalous, you were, this is really dope. I'm glad you contacted us. I'm glad we got to review this because this is beautiful. You've got a lot of talent. I really Very. hope more people hear this. Like you could, as you said, you could do this with movies. You could do this, you could hook up with other artists or you can just keep this the way the fucking is because... Uh, as I mentioned before, it gives me throwbacks to just the way the new Javis make me feel. Did you, sh- did you see me listen to them yesterday? No. I listened to Modal Soul again yesterday. There you go. I go back to the album a lot because it's one that makes me think a lot. Whenever I want to clear my mind and think, I put on that album. I like that. It really helps me think. So this might this be an album same. that I'm going to listen to a lot where it's going to help me think more. So put, put, Help me think, think more. Think. <laughs> Don't question my grammar, cunt. <laughs> it's not grammar. Is it smash? Oh, you me. did a great job. Thank you for reaching out <laughs> once again. Uh, if you guys want us to review your music, just email us, junglebeatsmedia at gmail.com. Otherwise, all the links in the description will be for this, uh, this artist. Keep doing your thing, man. Keep it moving. Or, you know, just stop. Have a time. Dun-na-na. Thank you very much. Dun-na. I need Dun-na. somebody with a human Dun-na-na. touch. Dun-na. Hey, you always on the run. Better slow it down. Baby, better have some fun. Can't touch it. You 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 can